everyone, I'm Lori Ellison from Hudson Valley Bookkeeping. Today, I'm going to teach you about reconciliation discrepancies. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to talk about bank recs and how you can mess them up. So this is a demo file, HVB YouTube, okay? So I had a previous reconciliation where I had a, a fake bank account and then I posted all the transactions and I taught you how to reconcile. Now, right here, you can pull and see the report. Okay, and these were the cleared payments, deposits, one uncleared check. Okay, I really recommend every time you reconcile, print these out, save them or at least PDF them because if you mess these up, which is why you're watching this video, you will want to, it's easier to figure out like what was the original check amount or what date did it happen? Um, and your life is so much easier because sometimes these reports, if you mess up the rec, they, they sometimes then will change here. So it's harder to find out. So we'll, we'll test that scenario. QuickBooks keeps changing every time I turn around. So we have a reconciliation through 9-17-2018. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. And the other thing you should have, so you would know where your cleared balance is, is your bank statement. So here, the statement any balance, we had 6,697.61. Okay. All right, let's go mess some stuff up. These are all the things you should not do, okay? but we're gonna do them anyway. These are all the things I've talked to people. And usually it's like, the reason you mess them up is you need another transaction on a different date or something just doesn't seem right and just seems easier to just delete it. And you get into this circular motion of trying to fix things, but as you think you're fixing them, you're actually making everything worse. So here's some top don'ts. Number one, you click inside the register and you take the R out. You're gonna get this warning that what you're um, editing has been reconciled and it, this could throw you out of bounds. This is when you should stop and not do what you're doing, okay? Because you already reconciled it. But we're going to be bad and we're going to click yes. Okay, so that's one way of messing things up is taking it out of the register. Another thing would be to just void the whole transaction. Let's say you think you're, it was wrong. So you go down here and you void or you delete it. It didn't even warn you that time, I don't think. And then another thing you could do is you could go and for some reason, I don't know why you'd wanna do this, but you think it really, you're trying to reconcile another account and maybe you have the same amounts coming out of different accounts, you switch the account. Once again, it's warning you, but you just wanna click, 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 and you click yes. And now you've screwed up your previous bank rec that you worked so hard to learn how to do, now you've made a mess, right? So one, the R was taken out, one transaction was voided, and then another, the whole transaction was moved into another bank account completely. So when you do these things, now your bank reconciliation will be wrong. Okay. So let's say you go to reconcile and it says you're out. And so we're, our beginning balance is off this 484.17. Okay. And that is the truth because this says 718.178. And hopefully if we took this, the difference, 718178, take away 484.17. That gets us to our 669761, which is the bank reconcile balance we had before we screwed stuff up. Okay, so click, we can help you fix it. Now we know ahead of time what we did wrong, but you're gonna be in the throes of not knowing what you did wrong or someone else. This is why you should never have too many people in your QuickBooks. Someone else went in there and screwed things up. Okay, this one says multiple changes. 
amount changed, and unreconciled and register. Okay. So let me show you the audit trail. Okay, so these are the dates that when we added it, and then here in the yellow is where it got screwed up, not cleared. So it's it, the transaction date is 9-17-2018, but I'm not gonna go back into the register and clear it that way. It's not that easy to fix it when you screw it up that way. So. We'll just leave that for now, but let's go look at the other ones. Okay, so we know Okay, so let's go Here's this one. This is the one I avoided. Reconcile amount 400 and the amount now is 0. That means I voided it. So one good thing though, and see here it's voided, but like you gotta realize you gotta go find the transaction that said how much it was before, otherwise you don't know what to do. So, so we know we have our three things, but I would have a piece of paper and I would write down that we need to go in and this transaction on 9-17-2018, we need to put it back to $400. Okay, and then so you have that one. We had the one that was unreconciled. So you should write them out or print out that screen so that you're not getting yourself confused because we're gonna have to redo a bank rec to get back to our previous balance. Okay, so let's go find 9-17-18. It was an ATM withdrawal. So let's fix that one. Okay, here it is. So we're gonna have to take the R out. Well, maybe you could leave it in there, I don't know. But we need to put 400 back, okay. Okay, so that one's fixed, so check that off. Then you just kind of keep going back. So now we're out, not out so much. Unreconciled and register. This one, so we're gonna go 9, 17, 18, and it's our 1406, we need to re-click. Sometimes I'll go click things in the register, but I still have to do it again in a bank rec window. So we'll just wait. Okay, then we have on 9, 10, 18, we have a 70, 11 issue. What does it say? I think this is the one I moved the account. Checking account, right? So this was part of our Howard checking and now see how it's all yellow and it says checking account. So we need to get it back into the Howard checking. So one way to easily do that is just click your search button. Look, since I just messed with it, it's right there or you could have searched 7011. Okay, so let's move this. We're gonna move it back. Okay. Okay, now we're out 84.17, which guys is the 14.06 that we unreconciled plus 70.11, which we moved to the wrong account. So again, what we did in the beginning was we went, or you would have your bank statement with you and you would know what your last reconciliation was. Okay, so it's just easier to just pretend like you're doing this reconciliation again because you're fixing it. So I'm gonna put in 6697.61. That's why make sure you save your bank statements, at least in PDF, always save your bank recs. Sometimes if I'm doing a back job and I have to undo all the recs for 12 months, I make sure I print the, the prior bank recs so it's easier for me to pick what's clearing and not clearing. Sometimes just, I'll, or I'll know what should be uncleared. And I know I'm just going in for these two. 
these are the, the other thing, once we unvoided it, it came back. Bam, it's fixed. Next thing you should do, so you don't go screwing things up anymore, is close those books. Really, really should do this. I mean, you go to all the work of posting and reconciling, especially if you're new to QuickBooks, you have to save yourself from yourself. I'm not gonna tell you my favorite password, but it's kind of like, don't do it. Okay, I hope that really helped. And please post in the comments any other videos you'd love for me to make. All right, have a great day.